They say never say never. I say never tell me what to do. A person will never put you in a position above them. That's never a lie. Always true. Success never comes without risk and risk never comes without fear. YouTube is a smoking mirror. Never how it appear. Yeah, so I wanted to talk about what I don't like about the Amazon relay program. So the first thing that I don't like about it is you got to slide the tandems. <laughs> They want you to slide the tandems on the trailers when you get ready to dock them or whatnot. I just don't like sliding tandems, you know what I'm saying? I ain't really had a problem with their tandems getting messed up or anything like that. I just don't like doing it, you know what I mean? Um, another thing I don't like is, like, if you sitting there waiting to get loaded, once you get loaded, they want you to hurry up and leave because they got a certain amount of time to get that load, like, checked out through the gate. So... You might have been sitting there for four hours waiting to get loaded if it's a live load. Then as soon as they load you, they want you to hook up to the trailer and hurry up and get out the gate. Well, you know, if you got paperwork to do or you got to get ready for a trip, you trying to take your time to get everything ready. So when you start rolling, you can keep rolling. Well, they're going to be rushing you like, hey, you got to go. You got to go. You got to go. I don't like that. Another thing I don't like about the relay program is I'm not sure I like that driver app that they got. It's kind of cool when you checking in and out, but it definitely needs some more development. Like, it should be a way for you to instantly communicate with somebody through that app if you got a problem. And it's not really like that. And then sometimes they want you to enter in the license plate number of the trailer, then they won't accept it. it, it it's a couple problems with that app. There's a couple kinks that need to be worked out. And I just don't think that that app is getting priority with the issues being addressed or the bugs being fixed but overall it's a decent app but it it need a lot of work i guess i'm gonna leave it at that another thing i don't like about them is whenever you pull up to the guard shack or whatever they want you to cut your truck off i don't know about y'all but like usually when i start my truck up and leave the yard I, I, very seldom do i cut it off until i get back to the yard and that's just Maybe it's me being paranoid or something like that, but I didn't see too many cases where somebody didn't cut their truck off and it didn't start back up. And I don't understand why they want to have you cut your truck off at a guard shack when they'll call a tow truck if you can't get it to move. And that's going to be an expense that could have been avoided if you just would have left your truck on. A lot of them are trying to tell you that you got to cut your truck off or they can't check you in. And I just politely remind them that that's not the procedure. I stand outside my truck why you check me in because I guess it's some kind of safety um, procedure that they got in place so that they don't get ran over. I, I don't I don't know. I don't work there like that. So I don't know why they do that. I just don't like it. I don't like the fact that you need uh, a safety vest, but I don't like safety vests nowhere. I ain't really no fault of their own, but Amazon, it is what it is. You're supposed to wear the safety vest. I don't like the fact that a lot of the communication, when it comes to, to getting paid, their payment process is a little interesting if you have a problem. As long as you can pick the load up, deliver the load, and don't have any problem, then you good. But if you got like, say you got, let's just say you got three legs on a trip and you do the first leg, but the second leg cancel, but then you do the third leg. Well. Now you got a problem because you probably want to try and get like a truck order not used or something like that. But what's going to happen is you're going to get delayed payment because of that cancelization of that leg. Or if it's a modification to that leg, then your payment is going to be delayed. And you have to basically fill out this what they call a tour adjustment form. And that takes anywhere from like from what I've seen, it takes anywhere from like seven to 14 days before you see that adjustment. So you're not gonna see that on the following settlement like you would if the load went through without a hitch. And not only that, the way that you can't call Amazon to get clarification on anything, the way that you get the clarification is through email. So when it comes to my payments and stuff, I be wanting to talk to somebody. I don't want to email back and forth, but what I've noticed is 
from my experience with them, whoever handling the accounting part of it, they're in another country somewhere. I don't even think they're in the U.S. I mean, you correct me if I'm wrong, but I think they're in another country somewhere. And I don't like that. I want to be able to call, speak to somebody. I'm, I want to be able to find out where my money at when it's coming. I don't want to have to go through an email and I don't want to wait 14 days when the reason that the loan got modified or canceled doesn't have anything to do with me. Let me see. Another thing I don't like about the Amazon Relay program is, say for instance, if I got a layover and it's more than a 10 hour layover in between loads. If I'm the driver assigned to the next load, I can't book a load in between. I don't I don't like that. Like if if leg one then picked up and delivered, but leg two not gonna deliver, not gonna pick up to after 10 hours, I should be able to, after my 10 hours is up, I should be able to run another load until it's time to pick up leg two. With the app, it won't allow you to do that if you're the same driver. I I don't like that. I don't even understand that, let alone like it. And I already talked about this a little bit, but I gotta highlight this. As far as loads with Amazon, they will cancel on you. I mean, they do the best that they can to order the right number of trucks, but sometimes the loads will cancel. And it's not a big problem if you didn't dare head to get it. But if they did hit, if you did head to get it and then they cancel the load, that's gonna be an issue because you know you got time, money, and fuel invested into it. And usually the truck order not used does not compensate you for all that. So let me make sure I covered everything about what I don't like about the Amazon relay program. I talked to you about they rushed to check you out. I talked to you about you gotta slide the tandems. I talked to you about the driver app. Oh, let me talk to you real quick about the customer service. That customer service is cool, but they ask you a lot of questions that I'm like, but if I'm on the low, that information should already be in the system. Was uh the the customer service, yeah, they it's a lot of information that I feel like they should already have that they asking me for. And that could be a little frustrating when you trying to accomplish something and they asking you the same questions over and over again. Talk to you about cutting the truck off, the safety vest. Talk to you about how it's hard to manually override something in the app. I talk to you about the communications being done through the email. The adjustment to pay ain't the easiest and you gotta wait to get that adjustment. Can't book loads in between and the loads cancel. Yeah, I'm thinking like them are my complaints with the that's that's the that's the bad part of pulling for Amazon, and hopefully I didn't leave anything out. But if if, if other people got something they want to add about the bad part of delivering for Amazon, then you know, feel free to put it in the comment section. And stay tuned for my video because this is part two. I did a part about the good thing, the things that I like about running for Amazon. These are the bad things, and then the third part gonna be the ugly things, and then we gonna really get into the nitty gritty when we get to talking about the ugly things with Amazon because it, 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 yeah, yeah, we gonna really get into that. Been through a lot of pain in my life and I pray the Lord take it all away.